So, not really a hero ship as such, but um, again, this was one that was reducing an offer, and I really like the episode that it's featured in, which is the episode Relics of Star Trek Next Generation, and it's the the one in which, spoilers, Scotty comes back, um, albeit rather briefly, um, but he is in it, and the the design of the ship itself was a rather lovely nod of the head to his era because you can see just from the um the image on the front cover of the issue that it's um it's got his era constitution class nacelles and this is the Janolan and the Janolan crashed onto a Dyson Spheres surface and was sat there for 75 years before the Enterprise D comes along and detects the Dyson Sphere and reactivates the Janolan, and the Janolan actually saves the day, um, because without it, the Enterprise D would not have gotten clear of the, the Dyson Sphere be, before being baked. So, um, it's in that sense, it is a hero ship. Unfortunately, it doesn't make it through beyond the end of the episode, because the Enterprise D has to blow it up to escape, sadly. Um, but it's one of those... <laughs> It's one of these episodes I remember, but in part obviously because Scotty's in it, and it's a it's a rather lovely tribute and nod of the head to him. But um, also because this little ship's a rather cool little ship, and here she is. Um, and as you can see immediately, she's got a lot of features of um, the Constitution class ships of the era. But she's a very unique style. She's almost like a little sort of lifeboat or a tug or something, and. Basically, she was designed to be a passenger ship. She was taking Scotty to his retirement colony, which, of course, he's now rather overdue for, unfortunately, for Scotty. But um, it, it was kind of like a runabout, only more so, I suppose, back back in its day. And I think this was the first time we'd officially seen them. Apparently, the model does get reused for other things in Deep Space Nine, not that I've ever noticed before, but I just gl glimpsed at the... Um, uh, the magazine and apparently that that is the case that the model itself was reused but one of the things I remember from this episode which just made me smile was that for the first time we actually see um, an ensign at the helm of the the Enterprise D taking some initiative because I don't know if you recall but on the way out of the Dyson sphere there's a hatch that's that, 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 that are sort of closing but the gap is such that there's a rectangle that, as it approaches, the Enterprise D is at 90 degrees to. So if it keeps going, it will basically smash the sides of the saucer section off. So this ensign, bless her, off, off her own bat, without any orders, rotates the Enterprise through 90 degrees on the Z-axis. So that it lines up with the rectangle and, and makes it out. And... It's possibly the first time I've ever seen someone use their nows and actually change the uh, the sort of angle of attack of the ship in that way, which makes absolute perfect sense. And, you know, we only ever see ships flying parallel to one another. There's absolutely no need for them to fly parallel to one another. They could be upside down to one another. It doesn't matter. You're in space. You've got artificial gravity. Why bother? But somehow everyone ends up flying the right way around all the time. So I just thought it was a nice... Nod of the head to the fact that you can actually fly at something that isn't just um, at planes to the perpendicular, and um, it was just one of those nice little, nice little touches in the episode. I thought, and um, as is the whole idea that Scotty would come up with this sort of whiz bang way to to jury rig a transport to keep to keep himself effectively in suspended animation for seventy five years. You know, classic Scotty move. So. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I mean, you know, it had it had the look of a kit bash ship about it, but it was the ship itself was so damaged from its crash that you you could you could forgive them virtually virtually anything. Um, and again, it's one of those ones that I hadn't really sort of planned to pick it up, but because it's such a a memorable sort of episode, um, I just sort of smiled quietly to myself and hit the add to basket button. So. Um, so there you go. So that's the that's the rather unusual little ship, the Janolan. Um, which it's it's generally unique. You know, I don't think there's anything else you you see on screen quite like it conceptually. Um, and I'll be interested to read the magazine a bit more about how they actually came up with the the look and feel of it because it is, you know, it's almost like a sort of a landing craft um, type thing. And you could and you could see it landing as well. 
but it's got proper proper grown up sort of nacelles on it. So uh, yeah, interesting interesting little ship, um, the interesting little passenger ship. So I shall leave that one there, and uh, I need to go and email customer services about a couple of my other um, purchases from this little batch. Um, but that's it for this particular uh, offer. And I just need to figure out which ones I still need to buy now, because otherwise I'm going to start duplicating myself, which would be irritating. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you again when I've got some more things to show you. Cheers for now.